If you're struggling to get views on TikTok, then you might be confused by the algorithm and even feel like the views that you're getting are totally random. Like there's a guy with a big red button that gets to decide who goes viral. And I get it because I felt the same way when I was starting out. I thought I was shadow banned, but the reality was that TikTok didn't even know that I existed yet because I wasn't creating the right type of content to get big views. So today I'm gonna share how the TikTok algorithm actually works so you can get discovered and increase your views. But first, what is your biggest question about the TikTok algorithm? Let me know in the comments of this video. I respond to every comment, but I cannot help you if you don't ask for help. I'm gonna break today's video up into three parts. And the first one is the real reason that TikTok stops giving you views. Then we're gonna talk about whether you should start a brand new TikTok account. And finally, I'm gonna walk you through the steps you need to implement to to improve your videos and increase your views. The first thing you need to know about the TikTok algorithm is that it is actually trying to help you out. It is trying to show your videos to the people that are most likely to watch them. It does this by using machine learning to analyze the interests and behaviors of the people on TikTok and then showing your videos to people that have already watched similar videos. But showing the best possible video to that viewer is TikTok's top priority, which means that your video is actually in competition with similar videos. And this is important because the videos that get the most watch time get the most views. And TikTok is actually going to show your video to a sample audience of about 200 people to test it. This is where they're grading your video and comparing it to other videos to see who the winner is and who they're going to push the views to. And watch time is by far the heaviest weighted metric. It doesn't matter how many likes, how many comments you have on your video. If it does not have the watch time, it is not going to get the big views. And this makes it very easy for you to diagnose what's wrong with your videos. If you're stuck at 200 views, it's because you're not getting as much watch time as your competitors and you have one of two problems. Either the algorithm has no idea who to show your videos to, so the people seeing your videos aren't interested and aren't watching for very long or your videos aren't engaging, educational, or entertaining enough for people to actually watch them till the end, which means you're not getting the views. Both of these things are fixable and I'm going to share some strategies with you in a minute. But first, I want to answer one of the most common questions that I get about TikTok, which is, should you start a new TikTok account? I'm bringing this up because your account has a big impact on how well your videos perform. And it's really simple, y'all. If you are starting a new niche or you are changing your content, then start a new account. If you have a personal account that you haven't used in two years except to watch funny videos, or you're using an account from an old business, or if you just have random videos that you've posted over the last couple of months that have nothing to do with your niche or your business, then I recommend that you start a new account. Even if you have a few thousand followers already, it's better to just start a new account. The audience that you already have is not your ideal audience, and your followers are not going to engage with the new content, and it is going to make your videos suffer. So start fresh and train the algorithm so that way it can show your videos to the right people. The first step to doing that is getting crystal clear on your niche. A a lot of TikTok creators right now are struggling because all of the influencers on the platform are saying, you don't have to niche down because you are the niche. You have to become the niche. And this is horrible advice. The reality is that it depends on your creator type. Are you a traditional content creator influencer or are you a business owner? For the influencer, the product that you are selling is the content itself. And you're making your money with brand collaborations, sponsorships, and like affiliate marketing. These are the accounts where it is true that you are the niche. This is going to be things like an entertainment accounts, vlogging, that kind of stuff. But if you are a business owner like me, the product is the offer or the service that you are selling. And your niche is the problem that you're helping people solve with your content, with your programs, all of that. But as a business owner, it is very important that you become known for something, that you become known for the problem you help people solve. And in both instances, you are going to have an ideal viewer or buyer, and you need to get crystal clear on who that is. What is it that they want to see that way you can create content that is relevant to them? And so at the very least, if you want to get big views on TikTok, you need to be very aware of who is the person I'm creating all of my content for. And by creating relevant content for that ideal viewer with every single video that you post on TikTok, the algorithm is going to get really good at figuring out who to show your videos to. And since they're showing your videos to the right people, they are going to watch your video all the way through and your views are going to skyrocket. But if you skip this step, you are guaranteed to stay in that 200 view jail. Once we know who we're creating content for, we have to just grab their attention. And that starts with good ideas. What are the things that your ideal viewer wants to see? And don't guess do the research. I want you to start adopting the mindset of a YouTuber and then bring it to your TikTok content. Every new YouTuber knows that they need to choose a niche, they need to do competitor research, and then they need to create videos that are either based around keywords with a high search volume or videos that already have massive views from browse traffic. You should be doing the same thing on TikTok. Follow other creators in your niche. Use the sort feature on their profile to study their best content. What are the hooks that they used? What are the strategies that they use to retain viewers? What CTAs are they using throughout their videos in order to create engagement? Then just go create your version of these proven videos. Use the same hooks, the same retention strategies, and then apply your unique personality and perspective to the video to make it your own. Just 
Don't copy them word for word. Make it your own. It is vitally important that you let your content research guide your content strategy early on. That way you can increase your chances of getting views and going viral. And after a few weeks of doing this research and studying these other videos and posting your versions of these videos, you are going to start noticing patterns. You are going to start noticing the hooks and the formats that are working best. And this ability to develop that muscle of pattern recognition is going to allow you to create your own viral content in the future. But when you're just starting out, you haven't built this muscle yet. You don't know what's going to work. So stop trying to guess and then wondering why you get 200 views. Next, we need to focus on how we package our content so people will stop swiping when they see our videos and watch the videos for longer. The reality, both on TikTok and YouTube, is that there are people creating amazing videos out there, but they are so bad at packaging or wrapping up their videos that people never see them. And so in the same way that on YouTube, we need to get the click so that we will watch the video, on TikTok, we need to get them to stop swiping. And the first step is to add title text to all of your videos. By now, most people understand the importance of a good hook, but they don't realize that the brain processes reading text faster than it's able to comprehend what it is that we are hearing. So a good text-based title allows the viewer to understand immediately what the video is about and it keeps their attention through the first few seconds of the video and gives you the opportunity to provide value and get that viewer interested for the rest of the video. But once we hook them, we need to keep them engaged. And there's a couple of things that I recommend you start doing. First, you gotta stop the lengthy intros and get right to the point. Once you have the viewer's attention, you need to deliver on the promise of the video as quickly as possible in order to keep them around. Next, you need to cut the fluff. Don't say 10 words when five will do. Add captions to all of your videos so people are more likely to watch your video when they can't have the sound on. My wife gets really annoyed when she can hear that bourbon review that I'm listening to and it's interrupting The Bachelorette, so I don't tend to watch videos that don't have captions. And I know I am not the only one. You also want to create engagement by asking your audience questions and inviting them to participate in the conversation and become part of the video and the community that you're trying to build. But it's also important because every time someone comments on a TikTok video, the video is just playing on loop in the background. And that means that you are racking up massive watch time. And you can actually game this by asking follow-up questions to the people that commented on your video, which definitely do it. So all of these things are going to help you increase your views on TikTok. But if you really want to increase your views and your growth, you need to make sure that you're avoiding some like really bad advice that's out there on the interwebs right now. So watch this video on the screen next and make sure that you avoid these 10 outdated TikTok tips that everybody's still talking about.